वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिशम प्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामी विद्यारंभम करष्यामी सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा गुरवे सर्वोका दिशे भवरोगिनाधे सर्विद्या दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक साक्षात्त दयानंद परमास्वूपिण तत्वान प्रशास्ता रणतस्म परम पदम ओ सहना सहनो भुनक् सह वीकवाहे तेजस्वीनावधे तमस्तमा विषा वहे ओ शाशाशाति विद्यारण्य मुनीश्वर अधीमहे पंचदशी कैवल्यपद सिद्ध श्लोक नंबर सेवेंटीन स्पष्ट शब्दादि युक्त अक्षादाबपितुक्तिमधार्यता The Vakya of the Chandogya Upanishad. Sadeva Somme Damagre Asit Ekam Eva Dvitiyam. This is that statement is elaborated. Each word of that Vakya is being commented upon. 
diluting the topic, making it more uh, analytical uh, discussion. Every word is inquired into. So, idam, so far, idam has been inquired upon. This jagat <clears throat> bhautika prapancha. Why it is called bhautikam? Because magabhuta nam karyatvat bhautikatvam. Made of five elements, elementals, elements and elementals. From the elements, they are made of elementals. Stula is element. Stula implies panchikarma, compounding. So from the Pancha Mahabhuta, from the Tanmatra, Sukshma Bhutani, this Bhautika Prapancha. Sukshma Bhutani, Akasha Vayuhu, Apaha, Agnihi Apaha Prativi, these five have the corresponding five gunas. Shabda Sparsharu Parasaganda. And in the Bhautika Prapancha also, we have this five. This, we have these five gunas, Shabda Sparsharu Parasaguna. So, this Bhautika Prapancha, anything you take which will be subject to the five, either of the five, must be either of the five. Either one or more of the five. Not one, in fact, all the five. Because all put together, all the elements are present. May not be <clears throat> may not be explicitly available. May not be explicitly uh, it is not seen, but it is all the five elements are there in these two plus two. Explicitly cannot see. It is there. It is made of all the five, because it is gross. Therefore, all the five are present. One may be present in a very in a gross form, but other may be present in the form, but not available for the sense perception. But it is. So, therefore, this Bhautika Srishti This Bhautika Srishti is available for our sense perception. Therefore, it, it is an object of knowledge for, for, our, for the Indriyas, for our, for our Indriyani. <clears throat> Akshadishu. Indriyadishu. Because the Jagat is perceived, Jagat consists of objects and things they are available for perception, they are perceived, therefore, therefore, they are objects. They are idam pratyaya vishaya. Idam pratyaya vishaya, in the buddhi, the knowledge takes place as this is what it is. Idam. Etatu pushpam. Iti pushpa, pushpa, pushpa the object, the object knowledge. Eshaha Purushaha, Eshaha Bhaksha, all these are idam pratya vishaya. The means of perceiving these objects are the, the Indriyas. What about the Indriyas? Are Indriyas available for perception? No. Indriyas are not available for perception, but Indriyas are there, we can infer. Indriyas cannot be perceived. Indriyas are also perce perceivable. Then, I, then there must be something which perceives the Indriyas. Then the question comes whether that is perceived or not, perceivable or not, perceptible or not. If that also is perceptible, then the question comes there must be something above that. That must be perceptible. It will lead to infinite regression. Therefore, Indriyas 
are there. This can be inferred from the Indriya Vyapara. From the knowledge, what we gain through the operation of the sense organs, the knowledge of the sense objects is gained due to the operation of the sense organs. Therefore, sense organs are inferred. Sense organs are inferred. But it is Anumanama. Sense organs as well as the mind also. Sense organs are Bhagya Karanam, Bhagya Karanani. Mind is Antakkaranam. Sense organs not only perceive the, the external things, internal also, both internal and external perception or are done by the sense organs, both perception, both the perceptions. So therefore, outside the Shariram also, idam, this Jagat, then inside the Shariram also it is, it is also it is idam, or also made of, means Jagat, my body also is a part of the Jagat. That is why that internal perception. All the, the five, Shabdas, Parasha, Rupa, Rasa, Gana, Rupa, Rasa, Ganda, all these are, all these are perceived inside also. As it is outside, so inside perception, internal perception. Internally, inside the Shariram also, these five Gunas are there. Therefore, it implies the Shariram also is Idam. That is the idea. So everything is Idam. The Stanamaya Kosha, Stula Sharira also is Idam. How do you say Stula Sharira also is Idam? Because sense organs perceive the sense objects in the form of the Shabdas Pasharu Parasakanda, the Ganda, the, the smell, the, the Shabda, the sound, whatever happens inside the Sharira body, available for sense organs. So, therefore, all these are Idam. Idam Vishaya, Idam Pratyaya, Idam Pratyaya Vishaya. Because it is Idam, then Bhautikattam is Putam. Spashta Shabdadi Itteshu. Spashtam, Spashta Shabdadi. Shabdadi, Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasa Ityadi, Gunaigi. It is Sputam, it is very clear. At is Sputam, it is more clear. Spashtam. It is Spashtam. Spashta Shabdadi. Atisputam. Atisputam is Spashtam. Spashtam Avagamyate. It is. So, therefore, the sense organs, those sense organs are perceived, but sense organs. Sense organs are perceive the sense objects and sense organ born of the, the pancha or abhuta, though they are difficult to understand, but it is it is can be inferred. It can be inferred. Akshadav api tat shastra yukti bhyam avadharyatam. There only the shastra helps. This sense organs also sense organs also, like this idam, idam is this anything which is available for your objectification. Because it is available for objectification, therefore it is different from you, therefore it is jada. Because it is an object. Object is jada. So therefore, the sense objects are jada. The sense organs with which the sense organs are known, that also that also born of elements. Therefore, they are also jada. But how do you understand? How do you conclude that? So Shastra Yukti Bhyam Avadharyata Akshadav Api. Akshadav is Indri Indriyadishu Api. Indriyadishu. With regard to sense organs also, sense organs as well as the mind. Mind is also jada, sense organs are jada, all these are jada. 
anything that available for your perception it is jada even the thoughts are available for perception it is jada only so the, therefore as an individual this entire jagat which includes your sharira which includes the sense organs the mind everything all these are jada we don't have problem with regard to the jagat the objects of the world they are available for perception therefore they are they are bhautikam therefore they are jada bhautikatva it is bhautikam it is pancha bhutebhyah jatam therefore they are jada then uh, there is no problem in concluding that that it is jada but what about the regard to the sense organs in mind that that's why the author says shastra ittidya dharmali shastram and the yukti logic helps to understand helps to assimilate this idea that even the sense organs the mind they are jada how do you say that as we saw in the last class that the food what we consume the sukshma amsha of the the food the annam that alone becomes the mind that alone nourishes the mind because of which only the mind survives therefore it is mind is it is annamaya anna vikara manaha annam is matter jada mind also has to be jada only because mind survives mind survives because of annam if if food is not taken for days the mind cannot function the thinking stops you cannot think you give a a mathematic person not even mathematic person simple one one uh, one simple one arithmetic uh, arithmetic problem you give that the person will not be able to solve so it shows the mind is deprived of energy so the energy from the <clears throat> the food the energy in the subtle way, sukshma that goes that goes and nourishes the mind similarly similarly the water the stu, the sukshma amsha of the water water like the andam also has got stula amsha madhyam amsha and sukshma amsha sukshma amsha it contributes for prana so prana prana for the for the sustenance of prana water is required so without water prana cannot sustain prana will go back prana will leave the sharira similarly agni the annam what we consume as the three it has it has prithvi amsha it has jala amsha it has agni amsha three the sukshma amsha of the annam what we consume that contributes for the vak shakti and vak is speech in speech through speech only in speech only there is light as well as eat both are there light and eat light means knowledge so when somebody speaks you gain knowledge when somebody talks gives a discourse talks about a particular subject matter then you gain knowledge knowledge takes place the words produces knowledge that is therefore light there is light in the speech that's why we say there is light in the speech speech the words give knowledge at the same time also the words this the speech also can gives give eat also when there is a friction debate eat at discussion we say why it is eat at because there is there is some disconcert there is debate there is argument there is vada therefore the discussion becomes eat at discussion friction is the food produces eat so both therefore vak 
so agni tattva so agni amsha of the anna contributes for the work if food is not taken then vak shakti also the vak also will go away speech also will not come if you fast that is why fasting and maunam go together because you are fasting then you are not taking annam you are not taking food sometimes people fast even not taking water nirjala upavasa water is also not taken then then where you will get energy to conduct your regular activities either you have to stop your regular activity if you do then you should not speak this uh, maunam also is observed along with upavasa that upavasa with maunam you cannot keep on talking at the same time observe upavasa if you talk energy energy is exhausted some the force when energy is exhausted and where will you get energy you become tired again it will cause other issue headache etc so that is why mauna upavasa and mauna they go together sometimes mauna alone so therefore because the annam is not taken therefore vakshati doesn't have doesn't doesn't have the the vak the doesn't have the shakti the power the which is contributed by the sukshma amsha of the agni of the annam when it is not the vak cannot function so therefore from this it's very clear it's very clear vak is indriya the speech karma indriya extend to jnana indriya and of course mind is also it's made of matter we have seen without annam the mind doesn't function cannot survive the mind is nourished by the annam therefore it's very clear this put it is shastra and as well as yukti yukti byam abadharita nischayata that these are jadam only even though sense organs perceive sense objects sense organs are also jadam so one jadam perceives another jadam how one jadam can perceive another jadam how a pot will perceive another pot or how a pot will perceive another tree vriksha how a pot ghata will perceive a matha we don't see that no, no not that way this sense organs are so subtle the mind is so subtle and uh, that's why we say yes it is made of sattva therefore they function in the presence of chaitanya that is not said here that they they function they act in the presence of chaitanya like in the presence of light the mirror mirror gains mirror reflex mirror gains a capacity to reflect the objects light should be there without light how can mirror reflect the light and the uh, mirror reflect the objects in it mirror cannot reflect the objects in objects which are which are which objects in the darkness which are in the uh, dark room the mirror is there in the dark room objects are also is there the dark room the dark room light is not there so mirror also is there without reflecting the the objects of the the room so when light is there mirror will reflect the objects similarly here the light atma consciousness chaitanyam is there therefore therefore the sense organs mind they function they act so they are active or they are made to act or they they function they function in the presence of atma chaitanya so therefore even though they are jada that even though they are jada since they function in the presence of atma that as a capacity to perceive other jada so it is not a jada is just perceive another jada this sense organs are sukshma sense organs meaning mind also they are sukshma jada mundi in the presence of chaitanyam they enjoy the capability 
the ability of perception. Therefore, they can perceive jada. So, if a person is asked, can a jada perceive another jada? Yes, it is possible. A jada can perceive another jada. Provided that another the jada, provided the, the jada must be sukshma and must be activated by Chaitanya. They must function in the presence of consciousness. So, therefore, that's it. In fact, I perceive you, you perceive me. I perceive you, you perceive me. I become the object of you and you become the object of me. Both are jada only. I don't see a, your atma. It is just for argument's sake. As though your atma, as though you have an atma, I have an atma. Just for argument's sake, if we take, atma is ekameva. Atma is ekam, it is sarvavyapi, the atma which is present in, which is me, the same atma is you. I don't say the atma which is present in me is present in you. The atma is everywhere. What is present in you? It is only uh, an expression. So we have to understand when we use such expression. Atma is myself and you are atma. So not you have one atma, I have one atma. Just for argument's sake, if we take your atma, I don't see your atma. I can see only your upadi, your shariram. I can see your shariram. Even I can infer the vritti of your mind. From your action, I can infer. This is what probably you think. This is what probably you think about me. This is how the problem also starts. The person thinks, the person, he thinks, that this is what other person thinks about himself. It's a assumption. Sometimes may be true. But what is the proof? From the action the person infers, the vritti. Therefore, you, your sharira manasangata, the mind, everything, it's available for my perception. Therefore, you are you are jada. That's available for my perception. Similarly, I am available for your perception. But what about your Atma? Your, I cannot see your Atma. Probably you cannot see my Atma. So what we can perceive and transact is that it all happens at the level of this Jada Muni. So therefore, a Jada can perceive another Jada? Yes. Provided the perceiver Jada is operated by the operated, uh, operated by the Chaitanya. Operated with within code, not Chaitanyam really operate in the presence of Chaitanyam, the Jada functions. The Jada functions. So therefore, it is all Jada only. Anyamayam hi so maya manaha. Apo maya pranaha. Tejas tejo mahi va kiti. Therefore, all these are Jada. So everything is Jada means they come under. They come under the, they all come under the, the object of the object of perception. Idam, idam shabdasya, idam, sh idam pratyasi vishayaha. Idam pratyasya. Only two things are there. Only two things are there. That is aham and idam. Aham is chaitanyam, idam is jada. Idam covers the entire jagat, including our Sharira Manasangata. Everything is Idam, available for perception, object of consciousness. But what about Aham? Shuddha Aham, not available. It is ever the, the perceiver, not the perceived. Sense organs are perceived, not directly, but Anumana, inferred. Therefore, Perceive. Mind is perceived. Everything is perceived. That is a hetu. Because it is perceived. Perceivatvat. Jadaha. Because it is perceived. Therefore it must be jada. Atma cannot be perceived. It is ever the perceiver. Without 
being perceived without being subject to perception it is ever the perceiver so therefore idam pratyaya it is very clear idam idam vishaya idam 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 the word idam meaning this so the, all this come under the topic of the discussion of the word idam idam pratyaya vishaya okay so that is what the author here says shastra yukti vyam avadaryata with regard to sense organs and mind you can take the support of the shastra and yukti the logic logic is our experience yukti we say yukti the yukti is not it's it is uh, it, the, the yukti is is not uh, even uh, shastra yukti it is our anubhava yukti when a person is deprived of food you will see how his mind function you will see how his prana work this will not function you should stop when food is not given for days the person dies so it's very clear that the life of the person depends on annam so if annam is not given mind cannot function sense organs cannot function prana doesn't function prana lives what is death death is we say that uh, the departure of the prana is what is called death the person dies therefore for annam annam only makes it makes all this survive annam is jadam therefore these are also must be jadam prana is also jadam mind is also jadam subtle mind subtle jadam so one need not have any doubt with regard to that as i perceive the table chair so my mind is also a jadam mandi but the problem is we take that jada mind to be ourselves and the thoughts which occur in the mind to be ourselves and we suffer we have such abhimana strong abhimana with that the mind the thoughts of the mind and we take the thoughts to be ourselves and thoughts of others also to be that's why we give value to the thoughts of others and we complain we complain about each other it's all jada only so therefore it is bhautikatvat it is atisputam sense organs are also bhautika mind is also bhautika only thing is they are sukshma then tika we will read later now let us see the next shloka shloka where the author summarizes the topic the topic is idam idam of the that vakya chandogya vakya let us uh, read that ekadashendriyayuktya ekadashendriyayuktya shastrena vyavagamyate ಶಬ್ದೋದಿತ ಜಗತ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ekadash 11 sense organs 11 sense organs we have only 5 plus 5 5 sense organs what about 11 mind mind is also is included it is also a a karanam indriya that's also like a sense organ so that mind is also he is adding and therefore he says ekadash indriyaihi ಪಂಚ ಜ್ಞಾನೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈ ಪಂಚ ಕರ್ಮೇಂದ್ರಿಯೈ ಮನಸ ಏಕಾದಶ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೈ ಯಾವತ್ ಏಕಾದಶ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೈ ಯಾವತ್ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಅವಗಮ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಏಕಾದಶ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇದ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇದ್ದ ದೇರ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇದ್ದ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ the 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 idam 
शास्त्रेण अभी यावत् किंचित शास्त्रेण अभी अवगम्यते यावत् किंचित भवेत एतत् इदम् शब्दो दितम् जगत् इदम् इदम् शब्दो दितम् जगत् शब्दो दितम् इदम् शब्दो दितम् एकादश इंद्रिय ही शास्त्रेण युक्त्या अवगम्यते यावत् यावत् किंचित अवगम्यते तत् सर्वम् इदम् शब्देन उदितम् इदम् शब्देन उदितम् With the eleven sense organs, whatever we 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 perceive, we understand. Avagamyate, shastre na api, shastre na yuktya api. They are all, they are they are idam shabdo dita. They are the meaning of the of idam only. They are the meaning of the idam only. Id idam idi shabda ha idam shabdo dita. So therefore, idam meaning this. This is a book. How do you say this is a book? I see it. I see it. It is drishyamanam pustakam. Therefore, idam pustakam yeshaha brukshaha iti idam. Similarly, it is the ek the ekadesha indriyehi. Ekadesha indriyehi yuktiya. Shastrena, Shastrena, by Shastram, Agama Pramane Abhi. Whatever it is known, whatever is it is known. Yekadashi Indriyahi, we know the objects of the world, Jagat, objects of this world, Yekadashi Indriyahi. And Yuktiya Shastrena, we know the very sense organs. This Yekadashi Indriya itself, we know what. They are idam. They reveal the meaning of the word idam. Ekadesha indriyas are operated. The five sense organs and five sense organs of action and five sense organs of knowledge and the mind. By this, whatever we perceive, whatever we experience, they are all, they are the meaning of the word idam, the jagat. We perceive objects, objects and things. They come, therefore they all come under the meaning of the word idam. The entire Bhautika Prapancha is nothing but idam. They reveal the meaning of the word idam. Yuktya Shastra Enapi, that is, what about the Ekadesha Indriyas? They are also idam only. They are also Yuktya by Tarka by Shastra we don't require shastram or yukti. We don't require shastram or yukti for knowing the objects of the world. It's all pratyaksha. Pratyaksha. Yukti may be required. Anumana pramana. Being anumana, that anumana is yukti. Anumana pramana. Other pramana is required. But our shastram is not required for knowing the objects of the world. But the shastram along with the yukti is required for, know, for, for knowing for understanding the nature of the Ekadesha Indriya. That is what we discussed before. So there also, therefore, there also the very the meaning of the word idam. Meaning the, the Bhagya Prapancha available for the Ekadesha Indriya and the Antara Prapancha. Antara Prapancha also available. Antara Prapancha includes the Ekadesha Indriya. Antara Prapancha, which consists of this Ekadesha Indriya, they are also Shastrena Yuktiya Avagamyate. Because it is Avagamyate, because it is Vijnayate, because it is known, therefore it must be the object of knowledge. It must be object. Because it is known, the knower is there, Knowledge is there. Therefore, it is known. Object. Object knowledge. Like any other object. Knowledge. As in any knowledge, three things are there. The knower, known, and the knowledge. So, therefore, with regard to the Antara Prapancha also, we have these three. Knower, known, and the knowledge. 
so all this comes under the all this or covered under all all these are covered by the word idam idam shabdo ditam idam shabdena uktam uditam is uktam they are all jagat only only thing is this this jagat the bhagya prapancha is the bhagya prapancha is jagat the the difference is only internal external difference the antara prapancha is also is jagat only that is also jagat jagat really means gachati gachati iti jagat that which keeps on changing continual continuous change that is what is jagat is our focus is always on the external world therefore we we don't see the change happening to happening inside inside of us paranchikani vetrna swayambhu parang prashyati that is how ishvara has created the sense organs are made extrovert but have you ever inquired the nature of the sense organs we take it for granted and therefore we operate the sense organs only for knowing the the objects of the the world external objects the sense organs themselves are jada the sense organs themselves are they are jada this we never thought of we never in fact interested in inquire we always in, inquire that which is available for our object of uh, available for our available for our sense organs as the object of knowledge but we never bothered about inquiring about the nature of the sense organ what it is that is also jada that is why the here the author says yuktiya shastram yukti and shastram is required for understanding the jadatvam even the jadatvam of the ekadashi indriya so for both the antara prapancha bhagya prapancha all these come under the the topic idam all these are covered by the word idam all these are revealed by the word idam idam shabdena uditam idam shabdena uktam bhavati so therefore idam that idam what idam was discussed that is the topic beginning from beginning from the beginning from the shloka in the first shloka onwards except the first shloka first shloka is is introduced this uh, the their statement of the chandogya though not he said but he, he mentioned sat sadadvaitam tutam yatat panchabhuta vivekatah do you will say that explicitly but we infer we infer that this the discussion is on this statement sadeva somita magra asit ekameva dvitiya therefore from the therefore we can take from the first shloka onwards up to now the 18th shloka is the discussion of the word idam idam is discussed 18 shlokas for discussing just one word of the vakya of the chandogya idam this is what enquiry is this is what vichara in fact we are supposed to do all this vichara and vidyarana uh, muni he helps he helps to do this vichara enquiry for what for negating this because it is idam atma is not idam we are not interested in knowing idam here the viveka is not for knowing idam if it is for knowing the idam, idam then it becomes science that is what science does science is interested in knowing idam we are not interested in knowing idam through shastra shastram doesn't have scope also with regard to what science has similarly science doesn't have scope with regard to what shastram has to say so therefore the idam idam discussion up to this 18th shloka so yavat kinchit bhavet whatever it is there that all this can be all this can be just conveyed by a word idam one word idam the brahma sutra in the adhyasa bhashya bhashikara this is is it says asmat vishmat pratyay gocharam vishaya vishayi noho vishaya and vishayi idam vishaya is idam the distinction between these two 
Idam, what he means is Anatma. Therefore, what is the discussion here? They are all Anatma, not me, not Atma. These are not Atma, Anatma. Anatma has to be understood so that we can dismiss. We have Abhimana with the Sharira Manasangata, Shariram, Sharire Nashte Agam Nashtaha. When body suffers, body dies, I, I die. When body suffers, I suffer. Abhimana, the Shariram is so strong. When there is when there is some disturbance in the mind, then I get disturbed. Not only I get disturbed, I disturb others also. So Abhimana is so strong. But they are jadam. But that is possible because our Abhimana is so strong. When the, whenever newly bought car doesn't uh, function as some, it, some scratch or something happens, we feel that as though we are scr we have the scratch on our body. So Abhimana is so strong with the new car. Car is jadam. It is other than me. But our Abhimana is so strong. So, similarly. Oh, but they are idam only. If you are viveki, then you will say this is idam. As Janaka said, mithilayam pradagdayam name jagati kinchara. Even the whole mithila is it, it, it burned. But I am not I am not burned. He has got complete the, the complete disidentification with the kingdom. This Janaka, even when the whole Mithila was burning, he was unperturbed. Not that he uh, didn't care, not that he was indifferent. But he's, he, he, the whole Mithila, he is a king. If his Rajyam is burning, but he is not disturbed, means he is no, that Atma is Nainam Chandati Shastrari, Nainam Dhakati Pavakaha. Iti, that yes, that Jnanam, that, that shows. Mithilaya Pradagdaya. Oh, loss for me. What is that? Because I am Atma, I am not subject to destruction. So that is the Jnana. Fine. Up to this, the topic was Idam. This is also Tika. We will see next class. Then the Idane, next Shloka. So having talked about the meaning of Idam, now in this Shloka, he is uh, the author. He Now he discusses the, the other important, uh, the three words, important words, let us see. And he summarizes the meaning of the Vakya. Shadeva Swami Edam Agra Asit Ekam Evadutiyam. Let us read that, 19th Shloka. Idam Sarvam Pura Srishte Idam Sarvam Pura Srishte Ekam Evadutiyam Sadeva Sina Marupe Sadeva Sadeva Sina Nasta Vidya Rune Rupachaha Nasta Vidya Rune Rupachaha Idam Pura Sustehe Pura is prak, Sadeva Somya, Idam Agre Asit, Sat Eva Asit, Nama Rupe, Eka Meva Ditiyam. That Vakya is, Vakya of the Upanishad is put it in the form of this shloka. Idam, this prapancha, both Bhagya as well as Antara prapancha. Idam, Idam Sarvam, Pura, Srishtehe Prak, Pura. Ekam eva adviti ekam. Sadeva asit nama rupe. Na astam iti arune vachaha. So Chandogya Shruti, sixth chapter, second section. Sadeva mantra. Sadeva sobe idam agra asit. Idam sarvam. That all this. That sarvam. Idam sarvam. That which is discussed in all the 18 shlokas, the meaning of the word idam discussed. That idam, shabdoditam jagat, as we saw before, pura, before, when srishtege pura, prak, 
बिफोर दिस सृष्टि इदम सर्वम ऑल दिस वेर नॉट इन दिस फॉर्म दिस इदम सर्वम वॉज नॉट इन दिस फॉर्म जस्ट बी यूजिंग सिंगुलर वन वर्ड इदम सर्वम इदम ऑल दिस वॉज नॉट इन दिस फॉर्म बिफोर द सृष्टि दट इज दिस जगत that idam idam shabdo ditam jagat was not in this form before in which form then it was ekam eva ditiyam all that is available here see whatever is objectified by the pramana whatever objectified by the pramana that is that that idam that idam purvam before idam purvam it was not there not in this form na asta now you know it by your pramana you say you you gain the knowledge of the idam but purvam it was not there trishteka prak it was not there nama rupe na asta This Nama Rupa, the Kap Prapancha Jagat, not that Nama Rupa is there, therefore available for your Pramana. Sixty Ka Prak, what Pramana you will operate? You yourself are not the Pramana, not the not available for in this form. Therefore, therefore it is. Therefore, you cannot say this is how it was. You can in, in this in, in this form. It was not in this form. This form it is there, you know, because means of knowledge is there. Therefore, you know it. Sixty K Prak, no means of knowledge. Then and this was not in this form also. So then, what was that in the before? Sadat Mana Asi. It was in the pure. It was in the form of pure Sat Sat alone. Nama Rupa Na Asta. It was not in Nama Rupa. Nama Rupa not there. Pramana not there. Therefore, Nama Rupa Anatma is not there. Anatma not there means this anat this 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 nama rupa atma ka jagat anatma which consists of everything the antara prapancha as well as bhagya prapancha which including your pramana na asta that why shuti shuti is bhagya is important otherwise how do you know before the shuti before the shuti this was not there means it was not in this form not there means in this form it is not there nama rupa na asta nama cha Rupam cha nama rupa. Nama rupa is the word and meaning, the form, the name and the form. Object having a name is there. Therefore, you know it. Now you know. But it was not as you know it now before. Na asta. What you know now, with the help of your pramanas, now you know it. That was not there before. Na asta. Then what was there? Question comes. Sadeva said, "How do you know Shastram? Otherwise, how do we know it? Were you there before the Shristi to and uh, with the Pramanas so that you would know it? It is not even an object of knowledge. This Nama Rupa not there, and you also were not there to know it. The knower not there, and the known also not there. Nama Rupa na asta. Then what was there? Creation itself is not there." In fact, creation itself is a misnomer. There is nothing really create, created. Not an ounce of of matter is created. Everything was there. It is was there. It is only a manifestation. From unmanifest form, it comes to manifestation and goes to unmanifest form again. Manifest energy or the matter can neither be created nor destroyed. Even Ishvara cannot do. so what is available now it is available for your perception it is manifestation and before the shrishti it was an unmanifest form that was the only difference it was there before but not in this form idam sarvam pura shrishte ke prag nastam so we should not take that it was completely not there therefore it came it was completely not there it came means it's a problem it has come now completely not there something new has come now 
then it must be different from that. Then it is Dvaita. Then Yekam, Eva, Advitiyam, all the words become meaningless. It was not there before, it has come. Then Yekam, Eva, Advitiyakam, what Advitiya did? Therefore, we say this was not Jagat was there before, but not in this form, in what form? In Avyakta Rupam, in Avyakta Avastha. It is in Vyakta Avastha now, this Jagat, Trishtehe Prak, it was in Avyasta, Avyakta Avastha, unmanifest form. That is what we call as that is what we call as a creation. Vyakta is Vyakta Avastha is creation. Avyakta Avastha is resolution. Vyakta Avyakta, Vyakta Avyakta. This is a cycle. Manifestation and manifestation. Now it is Avyakta Vyavastha. Then later it is Avyakta. Now it is Vyakta Avastha. Later Avyakta Vyavastha. So like that. Vyakta Avyakta. Avyakta Adi Nibhutani. Vyakta Madhyani Bharata. In Gita, Bhagavan says. All these are Vyakta. Then becomes avyakta. In fact, it is vyakta because it is in avyakta. Vyakta as its cause. In, a cause is avyakta. What is avyakta alone can become vyakta. What is unmanifest alone can manifest. Therefore, nothing comes out of nothing. So, if thing comes out means it must come, it must be there in karna rupa. Karana avastha. That is what avyakta avastha. Karana rupena. That is avyakta avastha. Now karya rupa. Vyakta avastha. Jagat. So the difference is only in the state of existence. Nama rupena hasta. Kada purvam. Trishteke prak. In what form it was there? Avyakta avastha. Karana avastha. Therefore that is. Sat Eva Asid, Sat alone was there, existence alone was there, Sat existence. Why we say pure existence? Because there is no Namurpa, therefore we use the word pure. Pure existence. Existence alone, Sat Eva Asid. Sat alone was there, nothing else was there. And Sat Eva Asid, Eva Kara does the Yavart. Eva Kara. The Vakya, Sadeva Somya, Idamagre Asik, Eva, Eva Kara does Vyavartakam. It negates. It negates that what I see now was not that before in this form. That is why Eva Kara is that. Then what form it was that? It was in Abhyakta form, not in this Namarupa. Namarupe na Astam. Asit Astam Asan. Astam Langlakara. Nama Rupe Dvivachan. Therefore, Na Astam. Then what was that? Kevala Sat Eva Asi. Nama Rupa Ragitam Sat. Nama Rupa Ragitam Sat was there before. Now, Nama Rupa Sagitam Sat. So, therefore, this Jagat is Nama Rupa Sagitam Sat. Trishtege Prab Nama Rupa Ragitam Sat. Nama Rupa Sagitam Sat is what we called manifestation, Yetavasta. Nama Rupa Ragitam Sat is, is Avyakta Vastha, Karna Vastha. So from the Nama Rupa Ragitam Sat only this Nama Rupa Sagitam Sat has come. So what was there before is Sat alone. How many Sat? Only one, Ekam Eva. Why can't be there be more than one Sat? Because the Jagat is plural. All this we will going to discuss. We don't take anything for granted. This is what is Vichara is. What is the need for this which are a clarity? Therefore, you can say Aham Atma Brahma without any doubt. That is why the vichara is there. In fact, this is what is vichara. This is uh, by doing this, Shavanam, this is includes Shavanam and Mananam and becomes a Niridhyasanam also. Therefore, we get we get firm in this knowledge. Assimilation takes place, Niridhyasanam. That's why the Shavanam also sometimes acts like a Niridhyasana. We, we get doubt-free knowledge, clear knowledge. 
and this become this become uh, Brahma Abhyasa Rupa Vidyasa. Thinking about Brahma, spending our time in discussing the Shastra and thinking about Brahma. So we get rooted in this knowledge. Vidyasa. Nishta for Nishta. Right. Therefore, here, Sat Ekam Eva Adviti Ekam. That Ekam, only one Sat, Eva, Eva Kara. It means there is not, nothing other than this. It negates, <clears throat> it negates other Vyavartakam. What I see now, it was not there before. Eva Kara Adviti Ekam. Adviti Ekam. Adviti Yam Adviti Ekam. Yaka Kapratya. It is for Swarte Kapratya Bhavati. It is Swarte. It is only for meter here. In the Vakya of the Chandogya, Sadeva Somya, Idamagra Asit, Ekameva Advitiyam. Advitiyam only is there. But here the author said Advitiyakam. The Kapratya here, it is only for Swarte. It is only for the sake of meter. Because this in Anushtup Chandas, for the sake of meter. Advitiyakam. Advitiyakam is equal to Advitiyam Ityartaha. Same. That's why Kapratya is Swarte. Generally, Kapratya is used in Bhagavadigi. Bhagavadigi herte Kapratya Bhavati. But here it is Swarte Kapratya. Kap means ka, Pakara is it letter. So for Ka. Ka is in the Samasanta Pratya, Tadita Pratya. So for Kakara is not a uh, it letter. The Shakotadita cannot be applied. Ka is Ka only. Advitiyam is equal to Advitiyakam. So, therefore, the, all the three words are important. Ekam, Eva, Advitiya. These are not discussed. That is what the author is going to do. What is the meaning of this word? What, what is the implication of this word? It's a beautiful analysis. Ekam, Ekam, if, if you literally take the meaning, Ekam means one. Eva means uh, that alone. Avadharanartak, Eva, Eva Kara, Vyavartakam. Advitiyam, without second. Iti, Aruner Vachaha. Let me complete this shloka and then we'll stop. Aruner Vachaha. Arunihi. Who is this Aruni? Aruni. Ah, that is Arunasya Patyam Puman Arunihi. The Tadita word. Aruna. In the Chandogya Upanishad, it was in the sixth chapter. There is a story. This is Arunihi, the father of the Shweta Ketu. Aruni, otherwise called Uddalaka. It's called Uddalaka, it's called Aruni, who is a teacher of the Chandogya Upanishad. The student is his own son, Shweta Ketu. When Shweta Ketu comes after, comes to comes home after the Guru Kulavasa, 12 years of Guru, Kula, Guru Kulavasa. His father uh, inquired what he studied. Then he gives a list of what he had learned from his teacher. Then the father asked, did you learn, did you start knowing which everything is known? Did you learn that, that Vidya, that Vidya, that Vidya, What you have, whatever you have learned, it is all only Aparavidya. In the language of Vundaka Upanishad, I am saying, did you ask your teacher? Did you ask your teacher that Vidya, knowing which everything is known? Then uh, Shweta Ketu asked his father itself, please teach me that Vidya. Then the Upadesha starts. Then the Aruni, the Uddhalaka, the father becomes a teacher and teaches his son, Shweta Ketu. So, therefore, here, the, the Sadeva Somya Idamagra Asit, that, that Upadesha of, that, the Upadesha of the, the Aruni, that alone is put in the form of a, a verse form, Shloka. Srishtehe Prak, Ekam Eva Advitiyam Sat Asit. And the author helps by saying, Nama Rupa, 
ಅಮರೂಪಾತ್ಮಕ ಜಗತ್ ನಾಮ ರೂಪೇಣ ಆಸ್ತಾಂ ಇದು ಆರು ನೇರ್ ವಚ ವಚನ ಆಫ್ ಆರು ನೀ ಸೊ ನಾಸ್ತಾಂ ನಾಸ್ತಾಂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಚಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ನಾಮ ರೂಪೇಣ ಆಸ್ತಾಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆತರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸೈಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಜಗತ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಜಗತ್ this this jagat is not in this form before it was an unmanifest form so only sat was there so ekameva advitiyam the sat alone was was means it is not now it is because it is sat the sat is ekam only one and it is eva and sat alone and advitiyakam without a second therefore these three words will be discussed what is the need for discussion of the three words the discussion of the, the three words will lead to negating all the differences in the sat if there are differences in sat then it it's subject to duality it's subject to duality then duality means there is then duality is yahara only duality is samsara only so to negate such differences to negate the differences what are the differences we have to see to negate the differences therefore all the differences in sat only sat alone which is without a difference without a second so therefore those three words will be taken for discussion from the next shloka that we will see next class om pur namadav pur namidam pur nat pur namadachate ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯೂರ್ನಮಾಧಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ 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 ಧನ್ಯವಾದ